So the USAID disinformation primer targets gamers, advertisers, memes, and the so-called right not to be disinformed. And that's, of course, a, a civil right that our founders talked about all the time. You know, that, that, that right to not be disinformed. Um, now, there are some conspiracy theories out there. I found out from Wired this information uh, this, uh, this weekend. This information is pretty disturbing. Over the past week, airplanes made by Boeing have been involved in numerous incidences, uh, including mid-air emergencies, leaking hydraulic fluid, a wheel falling off a plane as it took off, pilots losing control of the plane mid-journey, one plane just mysteriously driving off the tarmac into the grass field, and a plane plummeting and suddenly uh, falling out of the sky and injuring 50 people. As a result, as a result... Right-wing influencers and far-right extremists are once again spreading a conspiracy theory that Boeing's problems are all due to the airplane manufacturer's supposed embrace of diversity. Mm. Now, as a what am I, far-right extremist, I guess, is what they would, a right-wing influencer, I guess they would call me. Um, no, I don't think it's all of that, but I suspect that it, plays a role um this time around they're even going further some are even claiming that accidents are happening intentionally and boeing is failing on purpose as part of a global conspiracy to bring down western civilization and promote communism and countries like china well now that seems a little harsh now james Lindsay last week was on joe rogan and i think that's pretty much what he is saying that they're doing it intentionally. Um, I haven't talked to James about this, but I don't think it's being done intentionally by Boeing. I don't think Boeing is sitting around going, you know what? We should fail so China could take over. Don't think that's happening. I do think the DEI is um, a direct, this is a direct result of DEI and those that kind of thinking. For instance, when you say, let's reimagine the police and fire a bunch of the police, what is the direct result, Stu, that we've seen? Usually a lot of police no longer wanting to be employed by those cities and mm -hmm. crime mm -hmm. increasing yes, and yes. people living much right. less safe existences. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's there's one. There's one. Um, you know, when you, when you start to, uh, promote transgenderism in school, you know, the population is maybe 1%, uh, transgender, but now schools are reporting that up to 30% of the class is claiming to be transgender. So do you think that is connected at all? You know, I, I don't know if scientific consensus has arrived at a theory yet, Glenn, but it does seem, you know, correlation does Still, not equal right. causation in some cases, Glenn. It's mm -hmm. important to note that. Mm -hmm. But it is interesting that after all of these uh, things that we've been talking about occur, we seem to mm. see consequences that might be expected from them. Yes. Yeah, that's weird. Now... These people are spreading all kinds of lies. Some are even claiming accidents are happening intentionally. The claims began earlier this year, according to Wired, um, after a part of a Boeing-built Alaska airline plane blew off during a flight. Far-right figures claimed the airlines were now more dangerous, not because of the faults with production process, but because they forced diversity equality and inclusion policies, which conspiracy theorists claim without any proof resulted in putting unqualified flight crews into the cockpit. The same far right figures are now claiming that Boeing's support of environmental, social and governance uh, ESG policies and DEI have led to plummeting standards in the manufacturing process. Well, what else has happened at Boeing 
What 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 else? I mean, I would love an answer. I can't seem to where did I leave my Pete Buddha judge? I can't seem to find him anywhere. <laughs> so I don't have an answer from him. He is tiny. He's not going to fit in. What your else pocket, is happening, though, Glenn? I mean, that's just not that's uh, not yeah. appropriate. Yeah. No, it is interesting though, Glenn. I, I mean, I even go back to like old school advertising, right? Like if you go back to old school advertising, you'd hear companies say stuff like, "We are obsessed with quality." All we think about yeah. every day is how to make your experience better, how to make that food taste a little bit better, how to make that Correct. automobile the the perfect. I mean, remember those those videos they used to have in the commercials where they would show the wind tunnels and they would just show like the aerodynamics mm-hmm. and they would yeah. focus on these uh-huh. these tiny details that no car buyer would ever really think about when buying a car. But the point was they were so obsessed with their product, you were getting someone who mm-hmm. thought about that all the mm-hmm. time. They, that's all they cared mm-hmm. about. Therefore, mm-hmm. you're getting the best experience. Mm-hmm. Now their commercials are, mm-hmm. we never think about the product. All we think about is how many how many vaginas we have employed. How many people like having vaginas <laughs> nearby when they're in bed, whether they're women or whether they're men. How many times, how many boxes can we put on the little uh, checkmark list that, w- that when gender comes up, and they give you all of this nonsense. How, how many? Wait, how many people with a certain levels of melanin are employed here? When they tell you that's what they care about, it's pretty freaking natural to think maybe quality isn't their main focus. Thank you for flying United Airlines. Uh, this is your uh, non-white vagina speaking from the cockpit, which we don't really like. Uh, I don't like to use cockpit and <laughs> vagina in the same phrase, but we're working on that. Uh, uh, I mean, people, no. it's really, <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. Okay, mm-hmm. so I posted. I'm in this article too because I posted oh. uh, last week about the C919, which is the Chinese uh, 737. And when I say it's a 737. It's not, because a 737 says Boeing, and this one says Comac on the side. So it's that Other different. than that, it's almost <laughs> as if somebody stole the plans of a 737 from Boeing and is making it now. So they're starting to market their new 737. What is Boeing going to do? Boeing will go out of business if it doesn't come up with the answers. I mean, are you going to fly United? I, right now, I'm not suggesting. Like hmm. No, it doesn't. I'm not suggesting anything. You know, I don't. You know, you, <laughs> I never thought I'd ever say this about Americans on American-made planes. But hey, you want to roll the dice? It's your life. Uh, that's not a good slogan. United. <laughs> what the hell? Roll the dice. <laughs> I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Uh, So, you know, when people start noticing, and it's fascinating to me that everything is blamed on Boeing. I think this, to me, this seems more like maybe it's a problem of maintenance from United. But I don't know because I can't find my Pete Buttigieg. Mm. So I have no idea what... Whose problem is this? Whose fault is it? My guess is that they have either disgruntled or, uh, you know, just really, really, really unqualified people working on the plane. You know, like, I don't know. I just finished working on it. These uh, these four screws were left behind. But, uh, you know, the Ikea furniture stands up without all those screws. So I think you're fine. Clear to run. You know, it could be that. It could be Boeing. It could be a combination of both of them. It does. But isn't it interesting that when you have the CEO of United come out in a dress and like, we're doing transgender strip shows all the time. And our pilots and our stewardesses, the mechanics, they love it. They love it. Look at me, I'm dressed as a woman now. What's your problem? When he seems to be so focused on drag shows and DEI, I don't know. 
were the people at United Airlines just looking for a lot of, they're like, everything's done. It's, it, Joe, it's 9.15 in the morning. I don't have a thing to do. Everything's running so great. Why don't we spend the day on diversity? Now, maybe, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I mean, it goes doubt. back to what you, what you are focusing on as a company, right? Like, Glenn, you're a, you're a guy who, uh, who, who collects watches. Ever since I've known you, you've collected watches. Mm-hmm. And the watch... The, st- the watch is expensive, usually, not because it can keep time like your iPhone, right? Like, the craftsmanship <laughs> is why it's expensive. They, the stories no, you've told me. No, you know, no. I know, but hang on just a second. There's several reasons why things are expensive. One is image and brand. Mm-hmm. And there's many watches that are much better. Like, everybody thinks, oh, Rolex watch. That's It's not. It's a good watch, but it's not its not a craftsman's timepiece. You know what I mean? There are watches that will take a year plus to make, all made by hand by one person, and they run forever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So there is something to say that something is made of real quality and real craftsmanship, and I would say that used to be Boeing. And then there's those that are just really popular that are, you know, like I would say that's the F-35. Ah, it doesn't really run. I mean, it, yeah, it'll take off. We hope that it'll land and, it, you know, 70% of them aren't ready for any kind of combat. But, hey, it's very popular and cool to look at, isn't it? And then there's just crap. Yeah. And that's because the company doesn't care. Right. And and when you are in a situation like this, when you're having issues, like, I don't know, maybe people have noticed Boeing over the past few years having issues. One of the ways you push <laughs> back against that is to talk about how focused you are on quality. I mean, if you, if this goes, even in sports, like you have uh, teams that... Uh, uh, that you, they they are posting pictures of themselves out at clubs late at night on Instagram and and doing these things and like, look, every single team has players that go out to late dinners and 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 go to clubs, right? Like that is the lifestyle of a 25 year old athlete, right? Everyone knows that. But if you if you constantly are telling your fans, hey, we're out doing that. Yep. People are going to think, well, why aren't you getting sleep? Why aren't you at the gym? Why aren't you working on your game? We all know that that's not, we all know that companies can do more than one thing. Like, there's no reason why Boeing theoretically couldn't have other efforts. They they probably always have had them at some level. So but like, after the, don't after the, promote it all the time as the main thing your business does. After the 1970s and all Tr- uh, cars and trucks were deemed worthless from America because the quality was so bad. What did Ford come up with for their slogan? Ford, where quality is job one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Job one. That's what you do. Where is the advertisement for United saying, we will get you there because our pilots will die too. And we don't want them to die (laughs) because they're drag queens. (laughs) Where is the, where is the safety? Where is Boeing saying that? Boeing should be leading the way on the news of what's happening in their company. And they're not. And it is almost as if the mainstream media is doing everything they can to keep can you imagine 10 years ago if any Glenn Beck Airlines, United Airlines, any airline had the problems that United Airlines was having right now, no one would fly them because the media would only be talking about what's happening at United that's causing all of these planes. Yeah. To- okay. You're, you're totally, that's all it would be. Mm-hmm, you're totally right. And, and like you have to get people to be able to be comfortable that your plane won't take off from LA to New York and have several other landings on the way in Omaha and in Nevada, right? Like you have to be able to convince people that you can get people there in one piece. And I will add to your analysis of that, Glenn, the media would be nonstop on whoever the transportation secretary was under a Trump administration. You'd know their name, you'd know everything about everything they were doing every day. Yep. 